In this video, we are going to find the derivative of the inverse tangent. The inverse tangent can be written two ways. I've written it here as y equals the inverse tangent of x. I could have just as easily have written it this other way, which is equivalent. y equals the arc tangent of x means the exact same thing. And so we're going to find the derivative. What are the bare essentials that we need in order to find uh, the derivative of the inverse tangent? What is the minimal amount of information that we need to know? Well, for myself, I think uh, this is uh, what we need. Uh, first, some trig stuff. We need to know uh, right tri triangle trigonometry, SOHCAHTOA. We need to know uh, the Pythagorean theorem. In our case over here, it would be the hypotenuse squared equals the opposite side squared plus the adjacent side squared. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1 is important, and the tangent equals the sine of tangent of theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. How about the differentiation step that is needed? Well, we need to know what the derivative of the sine is, which is the cosine, and what the derivative of the cosine is, which is minus the sine. And we need to know something about implicit differentiation and the quotient rule. We also need to know what the inverse tangent of x means. Uh, it is equivalent to saying that the tangent of y equals x, and there is a limitation on what uh, y is. It's in between uh, negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, but that part is not really essential to what we're doing. So let's just rewrite y equals the inverse tangent of x again, and then rewrite that in its equivalent form, which is, and let's just write the x first, x equals tangent of y. The next step is we want to take the derivative of both sides, but perhaps we don't know right offhand what the derivative of the tangent of y is, so uh, we could get around that by remembering that the tangent of y is equal to the sine of y over the cosine of y. And we can take the derivative of that using the quotient rule. So we're going to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. And so that means that we'll uh, take the derivative of x and we'll take the derivative of tangent of y, but actually we're going to take the derivative of sine y over cosine y. And this is implicit differentiation because it's in uh, terms of x. So here's a case where we're using uh, this essential implicit differentiation and the quotient rule. These are essentials of differentiation that we must have to do this problem. So let's do this. What's the derivative of x with respect to x? That's just 1. And let's do the quotient rule with the sine of y over the cosine y. It goes uh, low, which is cosine y, the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, which is also the cosine of y, minus i, that's the sine of y, times the derivative of the cosine of y, which is negative sine y. And that's all over the denominator squared, cosine squared of y. And remember, this is implicit differentiation, so this is 
times dy dx. Okay, next step is, let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. Uh, we still have uh, 1 equals cosine y times cosine y is cosine squared of y. Uh, minus sine y times a minus sine y will be plus sine squared y. And that's all over cosine squared of y. And if you remember one of our trig, uh, and don't forget the dy dx, dy dx. And if you remember our uh, trig essentials that we wrote down earlier, uh, we have uh, right here, remember, we have sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. And that's what we have. We have cosine squared plus sine squared. Just the order is reversed. And so we have uh, the cosine squared plus sine squared is just 1 over cosine squared of y dy dx. And we want to know what dy dx is. So solving this, we can multiply both sides by the uh, least common denominator, cosine squared of y. And on the left side, we'll get the cosine squared of y. And cosine squared of y's will cancel from the right side, and we'll just end up with dy dx. Well, that's all fine and good. However, we want this in terms of x. Uh, we have that uh, the derivative is equal to cosine squared of y, but we want this in terms of x. So now it's time to bring in our uh, right triangle. And remember, up above, we had that the tangent of y is equal to x. And so let's say this angle down here is y. And tangent, remember, is opposite over adjacent. And, and so uh, we want to have then uh, that equal to x. So we must have x for the opposite and adjacent as 1 because x over 1 is equal to x. If that's true, what is our hypotenuse equal to? And let's just write the hypotenuse as c squared equals x squared plus 1 squared, the square of both the, of the legs. And then c, or the hypotenuse, is equal to x squared plus 1. And we don't need to have the c in here, but the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of x squared plus 1. OK, now we can replace uh, what we have. Uh, the cosine squared of y, let's just rewrite this one more time. And instead of writing the cosine squared of y as we have, it is equivalent to the cosine squared of y written this way. And then let's just put in what the cosine of y is. It's the adjacent over hypotenuse, so that would be 1 over the square root of x squared plus 1. And that we want to square. When we square that, we'll square the uh, numerator and square the denominator. What's the square root of I mean, what's the square of 1? It's 1. And what's the square of the square root of x squared plus 1? That's x squared plus 1. And there we have the derivative of the inverse tangent. See ya.